we are here together to talk about angles of elevation and depression. And that was actually a question asked by one of my friends from abroad. And that could be you too, if you have a question about a particular topic or you have a specific question you want to answer, uh, an answer to, uh, ask me, all right? Send me a message and I'll make a video for you like I'm doing now for one of my friends. Okay, angles of elevation and depression. Yeah, it relates to trigonometry, okay? So usually it involves some trigonometry, some sine, cosine of tangent, yeah? But what are angles of elevation and depression? Well, what is in the word elevation? Let's look at the word elevation. Yeah, perhaps you discover the word elevator in it. And indeed, elevation has got something to do with going up. And what about depression? What do you think that is? If you are feeling depressed, your eyes are looking at the floor, it talks or it says something about which is going down. And angles of elevation and depression have a similar meaning where if I have a horizontal, the angle of elevation is that angle above the horizontal and the angle of depression is the angle below the horizontal. Now, those are a lot of words. I'd rather just uh, make a quick sketch of that. So I have a horizontal, yeah, you know, a, a horizontal at a horizon, it's a line like that. And the angle above the horizontal, so this is the angle above the horizontal. Do you agree with that? So that would be my angle of elevation yeah it's the angle above the horizontal and the angle below the horizontal so going down so between the horizontal and that line going down is the angle of depression okay now I'm going to give a couple of example questions one now and uh, more in future videos especially with angles of depression you have to take some extra care okay because there's a common mistake made yeah but now very quickly I will do the first no you know what I'll do it in the next video in the next video I will do my first example question see you at part two